Um, we're representing the virtual home team for CTSI, and for our presentation, we'll be showcasing uh, UCSF profiles, connecting more people to more expertise more quickly. Um, we see this as the thing that we've uh, had the greatest impact at UCSF, um, for now anyways. So. so, we start by going back in time to the days before profiles. We have a video depicting what life was like back in those days. <laughs> and uh, bear with us. Hi. I'm Bernard. Hi, Bernard. I'm Bernice. I'm new to UCSF. I'd like to learn about other faculty here, their research interests, and if someone can mentor me. How do I do that? Google brings up too many UCSF websites. Many seem out of date or not relevant. I wish I had a better resource to point you to. I have some of the same challenges. For example, the CEO of the San Francisco Foundation asked Dean Grizzly for a list of faculty to work on a healthy hibernation campaign, and there was no way to quickly put together a list of experts. Hmm. Since I barely know my new colleagues, I was hoping to get a list of recent publications by the faculty in my department. I thought they'd be readily available since they were required by grants and accreditation agencies. Unfortunately, my department administrator hasn't had time to keep them current. Yes, I know. There must be a solution out there that could help with all of these issues. When UCSF gets a tool like that, life will be a lot more bearable. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, fortunately, today we have such a tool. And um, yeah, and that tool is a UCSF, UCSF profiles. profiles. Our expertise search and networking tool makes it easier than ever to find experts and collaborators at UCSF. Let's find an expert on influenza. And here's our list. Let's look at one of the experts. When you're looking at someone's profile, you can read their narrative and see their list of publications, which we keep automatically updated. We also show you their networks. You can explore their co-authors, as well as people with similar research experience. Our team has been busy adding new tools. For example, let's try searching for a mentor who's an expert in HIV. Here are nine results. Let's look at one of them. And here's her faculty mentoring experience. Check it out for yourself at profiles.ucsf.edu. So, <laughs> yeah, but what is Profiles really, thank you. <laughs> what has Profiles really done for UCSF? You know, what is the impact? We start with some uh, measures around visibility and access. So Profiles receives 750 visits each weekday. We have more than 100 websites at UCSF that link to Profiles. And 95% of the people in profiles are viewed at least once a month. Um, some people are viewed as many times as 400 a month. So if you're on profiles, people are seeing you and people are finding you. You're looking at yourself. <laughs> There's a lot of testing that happens. That's true. <laughs> There's a lot of vanity that happens um, yeah, with, <laughs> with profiles. Um, you know, it's also increased our national standing in research uh, networking. With profiles, we were able to lead the launch of direct a national network that connects biomedical researchers across multiple institutions. Anyone with a research networking tool can join Direct, and there are currently 29 institutions and eight different software products that participate in Direct. And it was all started with just one UCSF leader, that leader being Mini Kalan. The third impact is time savings. Go ahead. At UCSF, we have over 600 departmental web pages accessing data from profiles. This means no more manual updates for things like publication lists or contact information. And note that this gives us consistency as well as efficiency and accuracy as well. But our favorite impact is happy users. Next one. <laughs> uh, with profiles, we have worked a great miracle, like a better version of LinkedIn that addresses a real need for researchers and bears alike. So, um, well, that's it for our presentation. 30 seconds left, pretty good timing. Um, and we'd now like to bring Minnie Kalan up to help answer some of the questions. 
Nice uh, multimedia presentation. Thank you very much. So um, let's see, where should we start? It looks like you got oh, well, something to well, say. No, to I, mean, I mean, I really like it. It's better than Googling, Googling yourself because you can put in all the stuff you like about yourself and then go back and see if it's still there. And it's really cool. <laughs> Good, David, you want to? Well, I think they were sucking up to one of the judges. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just an unbelievable resource. Just coming on board and seeing that to begin with, uh, I just said, what a classy place and just a real lead of, of any place that I've seen. So congratulations. I just want to just make a comment. So I actually didn't see, I am the director of this program, but I wasn't allowed to participate in the preparation for today. So this is the first time I've seen the presentation, and I just want to acknowledge that it was fantastic, and it blew my mind. Thank yeah, you. Great. And it's a great team. Uh, I think that's just the most important piece. It's about the only time you can say profiling is not a dirty word. Yeah. <laughs> can we use that as a quote? Sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll ask a question that I that I probably should know better than to ask. But um, what 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 are we trying to do, if anything, uh, in in uh, bringing profiles and advances together in some way? Mm. Oh, advance, yeah, advance. Uh, that's a great question. Uh, something that's been on many of our minds. I think this year is going to be the year when that happens. We've had some preliminary conversations um, about moving the conversation ahead. And so the simplest, I think just to make things real. So, so Advance is the um, faculty promotion system. Uh, UCSF Profiles is a networking tool. At the core, they're, they're very different in their culture and philosophy because Advance is all about being tight and controlled and private. UCSF Profiles is about being open and, and you know, seeing what comes and being creative. But the, the information, the data at the bottom are, is, should actually be the same. And so I think um, the, the first real concrete use case is when um, investigators can choose to export publications, for example, from advance to populate their public profile on UCSF profiles, or the other way around, since we actually do automate some of the gathering of publications, to export publications from UCSF profiles into advance. So that's like the, the base building block that we're going to start with and then move from there. And we have now begun conversations um, uh, with the advance group. We've been actually, sorry, talking for a while. It's just a question of where you focus. I think that's been a, one of the issues. Yeah. Is, there it, a pro, is there a profiles app that we could commercialize in some way? There are profiles apps, none of which have been commercialized to date, but absolutely we're looking at that. So as you know, Clay mentioned, we are across the board looking at ways to diversify um, funding and revenue. So the app is actually, I'm so glad you brought the word up though, because one of the biggest so profiles is an open source software that came from Harvard, but we've taken it to the next, next level and changed it from a software tool to a platform. So that's the difference from just a tool to what you have in your iPhone where other people, including yourself, can make applications for your iPhone. So similarly, we took profiles from just being software to a platform where anyone can make applications. And we've already, by the way, gotten great ideas and interest from technologists across UCSF. And because we've set it up so people can be independent, they don't need to talk to us. They can just go make their app. So now the next question comes, if we're creating this community of app developers, is there an opportunity to generate revenue? And we're looking into it and we're interested. We've got to balance the, you know, there are two ways to do the cost to get money. And one is to save costs. So we're certainly working on that. And I think that we can begin enumerating. The next is to get revenue. And that's what's up ahead of us. And Minnie, what about, um, uh, you know, UCSF profiles, great tool. Everybody loves it. But CTSI isn't just UCSF. So have you, can you tell us you're thinking about um, adding partners? Have you talked to some of our, our existing partners about uh, including them? So um, absolutely. So there are a couple of, so we're looking at improving UCSF profiles for UCSF. We've got the national network that we're working on and actually leading the charge on at the consortium level. In addition, though, there are these closed networks. I mean, our affiliates are examples. So we're starting with QB3. Um, and we are actually working with QB3 to get them up and running using the tool and then using that as a model to include data that we don't have direct control over. And through that exercise, I think we're going to learn how to make it really easy for any of our other affiliates to come on board um, and integrate. Great. And then you, you guys did an interesting analysis where you Googled a random sample of, of UCSF faculty 
And can you just tell the group in a couple sentences what you what you found out in terms of where Profiles was and that? Oh, that's yeah, great leading questions. Thank you, Clay. Um, <laughs> so I forget the exact stats, but it's pretty high. In other words, for most UCSF faculty, if you Google the name, your UCSF profile in the profile system comes up as one of your top three to five links on Google search. So that should be a great incentive for you all to go back and make sure your profile is updated. You don't actually have to do anything with your profile, but indeed you can make it much better and much more attractive. Like David's, for example. Did you notice there was a photograph, there was a narrative? Now we did that for David because we knew we were going to profile him. But you all, we can't do it for everyone, so go back and make your profiles better. Great. Thank you very much. Great job, team.